Welcome to the Wisdom Lifestyle Money Show. I'm your host, Scott Dillingham. The goal of the show is to show you how you can grow personally, financially, have a larger net worth, and leverage your largest asset to help you develop the person you want to be. I take you through all the steps I did from being nothing to being told that I was nobody and I was never going to accomplish anything, from getting kicked out of high school to owning a multi-million dollar real estate portfolio in my own company with more than 20 employees. You'll meet our partners, you'll meet our friends, and you'll quickly discover how you can improve your life. So listen in and enjoy the show. Welcome back to this version of the Wisdom Lifestyle Money Show. I'm your host, Scott Dillingham. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a challenge that a lot of investors are going through. And investors that currently own rental properties, a majority of them have the variable rate mortgages. And because the interest rates have went up so high, they're missing out on the positive cash flow that they would normally receive from their portfolio. Now, traditionally, variable rate mortgages are the way to go for investors. There's very low penalties to exit. You have higher prepayment privileges. So if you want to pay this off faster, you can. And then obviously, they're historically lower rates. Okay, But since everything went up, the opposite is true. So now a lot of investors are facing challenges where they are not having enough positive cash flow and they're in a negative cash flow scenario. I get calls all the time from investors and they want to sell, they want to know what their options are, that type of thing. And there's three main options that I keep finding, I keep letting investors know. So I want to let you know the same thing. This way it might help you, right? It might turn your negative situation into a positive situation. Now, also keep in mind, these are options that we're able to provide to investors, okay? Not every lender can offer these things. So when in doubt, I suggest you call somebody on my team. Now, if that's what you're interested in, our phone number is 519-960-0370. That's the main reception, and then obviously we'll connect you with somebody on the team. But so here are the three solutions that I offer to my investor clients that are struggling. So what you can do is get an interest only mortgage or an interest only line of credit. So we take your current mortgage and we convert it to this type of product. Now interest only, you don't pay it off, but if you speak to a lot of investors, that's good. The real investors, they're not interested in paying this off. Somebody who might buy one property or two uh, a lot of times they still have that homeowner mentality where they want to pay off debt and they, you know, they want to get rid of it. But if you're an actual real solid investor with a large portfolio, you know that you don't actually want to pay off these things. Why pay it off, right? When you can get the appreciation, you can get the cash flow, and then none of that money is going just to pay down principal. It's debt equity. That's what they call it. It's debt equity if it just sits there doing nothing for you. So an interest-only mortgage or line of credit it does have a higher interest rate than an actual mortgage. So that would be the negative thing here. But because it's interest only, you save that principal portion of your payments. And because you're saving that, it actually ends up much cheaper monthly payments. And because those cheaper monthly payments, that's what's giving you the stronger cash flow. Now, depending where you live, you know, also these products may or may not be available. So it is location specific, it's debt ratio specific, credit score specific, right? So you have to have a decent overall portfolio. But when in doubt, again, reach out to an expert and we can look at that and see you know, what those options are for you. So another great option is to change lenders. So a lot of people think, you know, I'm going to stay with my lender and, you know, I've got the variable and I'm going to lock it into a fix now to save. But by changing lenders, what we can do is re-extend your amortization. So by re-extending it, we can get you up to 30 years with primary lenders. And the benefit of doing this, right, is, again, lower payments. So you might have a variable and your lender could offer you 5.2 if you lock it in. Again, I'm just making up these rates because we actually, we do have some that are lower. But let's just pretend for the scenario. It's 5.2. Okay. But they're going to lock you in at the amortization, the natural amortization that's left, right? So if you had variable, you probably went to a negative amortization. So now they're going to lock you into your natural amortization. So let's say you originally started with a 30-year 
and you've had the home for seven years, the natural amortization would be 23. So that's what they're going to give you when you lock in your interest rate. But by changing lenders, and let's say the rate is also 5.2. So mentally in your mind, you're like, it's a wash. It's the same rate. Yes, but now I can get you 30 years instead of 23. So that lowers your monthly payments as well to potentially increase your cash flow. So those are options there for you too. And actually, I do want to touch on one more thing on the interest-only product that I forgot. The interest-only, especially if you get the line of credit, you can convert it to a mortgage at any point in time. So if you felt there was a better rate in the future or whatever, you have that opportunity to lock that in. So I just want to touch on that. I didn't want to forget that. And then lastly, what a lot of investors are doing is they're adding second suites to the property. So you can take your mortgage now, refinance it, and pull equity out of it, and use those proceeds to add a second suite. Now, of course, you have to check with your local municipality. You want to check with the zoning and make sure all of this is supported. But the key benefit of this is you're taking you know, the equity out, but you're adding another unit. And because you have that extra unit, that is more rental income which is exactly what you need because you're in a negative cash flow scenario. So even though you're taking money out via the refinance, which is increasing your monthly payment because you can add extra rent, that's ideal. Even if you cannot add another suite, but you still take money out of the property and you use that to improve the property, that's going to give you a higher cash flow. So you have to look at the balancing effect and see, you know, does this added payment, will I get at least this much or more when the property is renovated? And if so, then that might even make sense for you. So those are the three ways. So the interest only mortgage or the line of credit, swapping lenders, right? And extending your maximum amortization and refinancing to add a second suite to the property or renovate a property if it's in disrepair. So those are the key strategies that I keep repeating to my investors. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna record a quick uh, podcast episode about this because people are asking me for this all the time and this we've used this strategy a mixture of them or an individual strategy and we have helped our investors to save money on their interest expense for the bank of canada rate increases so if you think that you're affected by this and that these solutions might help you reach out again my office line is 519-960-0370 thank you If you're serious about real estate investing and you want to take it to the next level with the least amount of time and mistakes, then you're going to want to sign up for our Real Estate Investor Hub. Visit CanadianRealEstateNetwork.com and hit the blue button or banner that says Free Investor Resources. Inside, you'll have access to real estate investing courses, networking opportunities, webinars featuring industry professionals as well as dedicated chat channels to share and get access to unique properties. I look forward to seeing you there.